Ba tayo inom ng inom? Nagutom na naman ako. Tum ba kayo? Asa tayo? Hot pot? Tara, 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 tara. Like Sabgyupsal, hot pot and shabu shabu is a growing scene in the Philippines. Since there's nothing like a hearty, comforting and umami filled serving of hot pot, we visited a bunch of new and not so known places that offer this authentic Chinese dish. This is the best of hot pot. So we are at our first stop. Sobrang lapit lang sa studio. It's Wow Cow Hot Pot. They have lots of branches. They have one I think in Pasay, Makati. So I'm super excited. Tapat lang to na landers. If you guys are having a hard time looking for it here, it's in Uptown Parade Mall. Bale, Wauco started as a home kitchen po around uh, May 2017 po. Home kitchen, tapos may tables and chairs? Yes po. Oh, Nag-put up so lang cool. po sila ng two tables po that can accommodate approximately right. up to 30 packs lang po a day. So mga kakilala mo natin, yes, po. of course, word of mouth. Yes, po. March 2018, <laughs> nag-open na po ng physical store, BGC po. Inspiration naman po ng design is old Chinatown. As you can see here, the place po. Para siyang uh, small neighborhood, parang ganun po. So, the authenticity of the food itself, then the authenticity of the place itself, packed together na right. po. Super clueless ako dito sa mga nasa harap ko, except na alam ko may kumukulong sa bawo. Tapos meron mga sliced raw meat sa akin. Can you explain to me, para lang gets din ang friends natin, kung ano tong dalawang variants na to? So we have here the double soup po, the Szechuan spicy and the mushroom soup. Yung ingredients po niya is imported from China oh. so that we could ensure the authenticity of the flavor po. This is the soup most ordered by the native Chinese po. Let's start with the meat. That one po, that plate po is uh, the private part of the beef. That one is the tribe, beef yeah. tribe po, right. stomach. And then that one's beef sashimi. You can eat it raw po. That's between upper and lower leg part of the beef. Then that one's the back part, jiao long. Sanwaji, that's the lower leg part. Then that one is the shibing, upper leg part. So the reason why sashimi can be eaten raw? Yes. Because it's tender? Siya, yeah, that's the most tender po. Then this one's the shongkoyu po. Beef fat po siya. Pure beef oil po. Then that one's the beef tang, lengua. That one po is uh, premium handmade beef balls po. Siya po talaga namin sa commissary yung gumagawa. So pa, pag nag-serve kayo, lagi siyang... Pleto. Yes po. Just when they ask for a refill, saka lang siya. Yes po. They can ask for a refill if there's anything that they like. It's they specific prefer. meat, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can get this set po if you ordered our set meals. Since we also uh, offer a la carte. So sa mga meats, even yung sa private parts, ano yung pinaka mabenta dyan? Uh, this one po rin po. The Sheeran. Oh, since Sheeran. it's the most premium po talaga. Siya po yung pinaka tender. And the private parts. So this one's the Sheeran, the shoulder part. So most basically, it will be cooked at around 8 seconds lang po. So parang babanlawan mo lang? Babanlawan lang po talaga. Since it's thinly cool. cut naman po. Then fresh po siya, so no worries po kahit half cooked or whatever. Right, so with any hot pot, sobrang importante, meron ding dip. And I noticed that each establishment meron sila laging special or signature mixture. Of course, you can always make your own. So this one that I have here is their beef special set sauce. So it's made with some uh, satay as a base, garlic, cooked onions, some cilantro, spring onions, and some fresh chili. And of course, you can go freestyle. If you want garlic and satay sauce, go right ahead. We'll start with the beef. Tingnan natin. Just dip, be generous if you like. Mmm, so good. Mmm. Parang birthday ko ngayon, ano to? This is the upper part of the shoulder. So, ito yung, it cooks for like 8 seconds and then you have to take it out. Yo, next. Natutunan ko lang to sa, ano eh, mga katrabaho ko. One, two, three. Kumain na tayo. I could eat this all day long. Air one. You know, I grew up 
eating hot pot. Like, hot pot was my generation's samgyupsal. Pag special occasion or pag bonding, nung time na yun, ah, there wasn't really much attention to what type of beef, which part. You just get beef, you get pork or chicken or seafood. I'm so lucky to be alive as a person who really loves food. I appreciate different textures from the same type of meat. Honestly, the Sichuan broth is tolerable for me, but it can be a bit spicy for some. So I really like the basic broth. One of the great things about hot pot is, habang nagdadagdag ka na ingredients para dumadagdag din yung overall flavor niya. So by the time patapos na ko yung kumain, para for me yun yung pinaka climax ng meal. Mapapa wow ka ka, wow ka. So after BGC, we are now in Makati at Jangnan Food. Meron din silang hot pot, of course, but they also have a la carte options. Now, I came across this place because of a good friend of mine named Mike Yu. You know Mike Yu, he always tries to introduce me to local Chinese food here in Manila. So let's go. Super excited. ito po yung ano namin uh, mga exotic na pagkain. Ito po yung pork brain tapos uh, duck and distinct po. Pork kidney po. Kidney. Pork belly. Lamb po. Lamb. Anong fish to? Uh, cream dory po. Yung USB po. Alright. Ang dami pala. Ano ulit to? Bacon po. Tapos ito yung handmade noodles na kami mismo yung gumawa. Cheese ball. Conjap nut noodles po. Ito yung squid. squid. Lotus, Lotus root po. Ito yung king oyster mushrooms. Uh, assorted balls po. Cool. So napansin ko, yung amoy pa lang ng broth niyo kakaiba na. Yung mga uh, ingredients po niyan, galing China po, tanda na. Ah, dito po sa kabila po, isa original soup, pork base. Then dito naman po sa kabila, isa mild spicy po. Ito po yung uh, signature sauce namin, yung sa peanut sauce. So kapag nagda-dine in, naka-pre-made na to kukunin. Yes po. Pero pwede silang mag-adjust or gumawa ng sarili. Yes po. Um, ah, okay. Kasi hindi naman po maanghang. So, ah, hindi um, maanghang. Yes okay. po. Perfect. 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 Super excited. Kasi from what I recall, sobrang sarap nito ang special sauce nila. So solid. Mm. Honestly, since I like sweet food, perfect sa akin yung special sauce nila. Mm. So you guys might be wondering why they have so many exotic ingredients here or options. So the owner, who is uh, full Chinese from the mainland, wants to bring culture and food here in the metro. Sakto lang. What better way to do it than with food, right? Hindi to exotic, by the way. Okay, <laughs> sipin exotic pa inte. Mamaya nil. Right. So this is sinasabi nila lang binabalik balikan here. It's the Chinese plum juice. TBH. I'm unfamiliar with how it tastes. Kasi I'm familiar lang ako na bibili mas mga Korean stores. So. I love it. Mmm. Sala. So we are on our last stop here in Pasay. So we started at BGC, Makati, and now we're in Pasay at Good Luck Hot Pot. For me, parang ito yung pinaka premium natin. They have expensive menus. They also have a la carte options. One of the special things about this place is every little bit of the foundations, mga tables, chairs, all of them were shipped from China, even the ingredients. And they also have like this 10 or 15 minute show for the audience and for the customers. So it's pretty cool. Can't wait to check it out. Let's go. This is marinated fish jelly, spicy and sweety. And the next is blueberry yam, also sweet. So I feel like this is like a cold cut. Sabi niya marinated and sweet and sour thing. 
Mm. Parang yung uh, familiar texture that we get from our cold cut platter. You know, Chinese restaurants like jellyfish. Super good. This one is the steamed yam with blueberry syrup and some sprinkles. I get why people order this a lot, but I seem to like this so much more. The acidity really gets your appetite going. So, As recommended by the staff, I tried their signature sauce, which was thicker and definitely richer than the other recommended sauces earlier. Later on, the staff also served some of their lobster soup, which, by the way, had a whole lobster in it, and their mushroom soup. She also recommended that I try their fresh sashimi and premium shellfish. Alright, so actually, super favorite ko talaga ang sashimi, so... Medyo pleasant surprise that they have it here. I'm gonna start off with the tuna. See how fresh it is. Mm. You know, the thing with tuna is, you know, that it's really good. Kapag wala siya ng metallic taste. And this one doesn't have that. Super good. And on to my favorite part, the salmon sashimi. My gosh, do I love this. Mmm. Love it. It smells so fresh. And the taste is so clean. I really appreciate sashimi na ganito ka fresh. Mmm, so good. So they have like these different platters, perfect for almost all of their types of broth. Di ko narin nakikita ko siya na sa harap ko, but I can't wait to try everything though. Oh. You know what? The quality though, it's crazy good. You would understand why the price is the price. Is that the, uh, am I making sense? Since this is my third hot pot, probably not. Moving on from meat mountain to the meat flour. Definitely the difference would be, you don't get the variety, but the quality, mm, man, super different. And I get it, even the presentation, everything smokes. Mm. Mm. You guys need to try this now. Out of all the places we've gone to, Good Luck Hot Pot is definitely the most premium in both the location and ingredients. You know, this is the type of hot pot that make the whole table silent because of how impressive the presentation is and how high the quality of the ingredients are. At this point, I couldn't think straight anymore. My blood had been replaced by broth, and we just enjoyed the feast. You can definitely go all out here, but they also have more budget-friendly sets in their menu. So we've had this before with Anson for our Chinese New Year episode. I hope you guys can check that out once again. And that, that's actually how we discovered the uh, Good Luck Hot Pot and came up with the idea why not do the best of hot pot. Right? So again, this one has fruits, nuts, sago, gulaman, dark brown sugar syrup, toasted sesame seeds. Mm. We have here the classic fruit platter. Alam na natin kung ano yung mga nakalagay dyan, but it also depends on how many people were on the table. So ito, complemented with this. I mean, what more could you ask for for a great ending to this? You won't ask for cake after having such a big meal. So this, this. Perfect. Mm. What's not to love about hot pot? This dish is easily the superior soup in my book. It's filling, nutritious, and best of all, very delicious. We Filipinos also love a DIY adventure, so give these guys a visit for a legit hot pot and shabu shabu fix.